hands raised now for those who want to ask some questions for the Monday Monday papers, please. Uh, so we'll start with uh, Adrian, please. Adrian Kajimba. Uh, Thomas, um, I just wanted to ask you about Christopher Ayer, who you were just talking about. And there were a couple of moments today when he was involved in defensive situations and he celebrated them almost like they were goals. I just wondered, having a, a sort of player who, who's that desperate, takes that, you know, takes that much pride in their defending, how much of a valuable addition is that for your squad? It's, 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 it's very important. Um, and you also need uh, different characters uh, um, Ethan uh, Pinnock is, uh, you know, so he's the mountain, uh, Ethan the mountain, but he's very quiet as a person. And Christopher is a little bit, you know, more vocal and a little bit more extrovert. And you need sometimes that to to drive the team. But it, it was fantastic to see. I like the last action between uh, Sergi and Christopher. I think they 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 chested up or what you call it, and you know, celebrated like a like a goal. That, that, that is fantastic, and it shows a lot about the character in the team. Uh, so Christopher, more pleased with him today. Um, I felt he, he grew into it, defended very well, also had some good actions on the ball. Um, so I think he took a step in the right direction. Thank you very much. Uh, Neil McClellan, please. Yeah, hi, Tom. So I actually wanted to ask you about um, Christopher Ayer as well and how important he comes from a, a club in Scotland that's used to winning every week. He's, he's won like, like league titles, he's used to that. How important is that to bring that winning mentality to this season? I mean, he looks like he expects to win out there. Yeah, uh, I think it's important to um, to bring that, let's say, winning mentality or the right characters that they want to win uh, and they want to do everything. And I think we are a team full of, of, of many, many good characters that want to really, you know, leave their heart out there. And I think that's a, 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 a big thing of our, our um, relatively success so far. Um, but Christopher Ayer, top character, top mentality. Um, Still young, still a lot of things to learn, uh, defensively and offensively, but but really, really important with that the mentality. I mean, it's, it's, in some ways, it's, it's a little bit similar to Virgil van Dijk, who came down, he proved himself in the British game and came down and made an impact as well. I'm not talking comparison, but it's, there's, there's a there's a parallel there, maybe. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a big parallel, it's a big comparison uh, with with uh, maybe the best uh, centre back in the world. Um, but, but Christopher definitely ha have a, a huge potential um, because he got the character, uh, he got the abilities on the ball. You can see that when he's driving forward, he's also running forward, and we want that from uh, want that from my centre backs and the outside centre backs. Um, and now it's just to to build and learn all the extra layers of and this. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Jordan from the Sun, please. Hi, uh, Thomas. Um, this back three just looked to have gelled so well and so. Um, um, quickly, and they, they look not to be only just good on the ball and with, with each other, but as mates as well. Is there anything they've been doing in training off the pitch or any like team bonding stuff to get them to kind of to get them on that telepathy because they just look so in sync? Yeah, uh, hi Jordan, um, thank you. Uh, I, yeah, I agree. They were just uh, a little bit off it with a big chance, so there's still something to improve. <laughs> uh, but I agree, they found e each other very well. Uh, and I need to praise the three of them, but also praise uh, Brian Reimer, uh, my assistant manager, that is the, the master or professor of uh, the defensive art. It's him who's, um, who's drilling it into them um, every day, every week. Uh, and I think Pontus uh, put it uh, perfectly. You know, what is this? He came in Monday after we beat Arsenal. What is this? Then this uh, angry, aggressive bulldog, like we call Brian, uh, we've got a clean sheet against Arsenal and he still wants more. And I think that's the attitude uh, we constantly want to develop. Them. And you've got, so you've got Brian the bulldog, Frank the tank and Ethan the man mountain. Have you got any more nicknames for your players lined up or are you <laughs> saving them? <laughs> Brian was, and Brian is the, the assistant manager just to clarify that, but I, I agree there's still a nickname, yeah. Um, and, uh, not, not, not yet. It will come. I promise you, it will come. Thanks, Thomas. You're welcome. Right, we're out of hands. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you all soon.